Welcome back, my fellow adventurers. This is Drinian Cortair, and this is an FTL playthrough series, part 11. Let's jump. I'm going to jump out of here. I'm going to risk it a little bit, see what's going on on here, see if I can hit the rest of these systems before the Rebel Fleet catches up. You nervously glance out of the window, but the only thing to greet you is more clouds and silence. Darn it. Another system system with nothing in it. Uh, I'll jump here. Please, cross my fingers. Let there be something that I can do. Pirate ship arrives shortly after you. Judging from the fact that it is attempting to avoid your ship, you assume that it is a smuggler again, trying to stay away from the beacons. I can either attack the pirate or another ship. Well, I'm pretty bored, so I'm going to attack the pirate. You power your weapons and move in to engage. I'm going to pause right away so I can evaluate the situation. No teleporters. Can't come on the ship. Uh, looks like he has a missile and uh, a, a blaster. Um, I'm going to use my... See if I can take down a shield pretty easily with my iron blaster, my pike beam. I'm going to wait to use that once the shield is down. So I'm going to keep using that to get rid of this shield. Looks like the pike beam is ready, so I'm going to attack, and boom. Look at all that damage. That was nice. Sorry about that. There were some technical difficulties, but we're right back into it. Looks like I got some nice hits off. I damaged these systems. I'm going to continue attacking the shield. And once my pike beam is back up, I'm going to try to finish this guy off. I'm not taking a lot of damage, so it's nice. Let's see what we can do here. Ooh, direct hit to my shield array. But Scotty's going to take care of it, and I won't be a problem. Once the pike beam is back up, I'm going to go for it. There we go. Hit four systems. That's really nice. Looks like they don't want to fight. They're trying to escape. I'm going to continue. Um, they're not surrendering, so I'm going to have to take them out. I'm going to take, take out their pilot array. And once the pipe room is back up, I'm going to take them out. And boom, they're dead. It was that easy. You search the ship and discover that its cargo is new military-grade weaponry. It is was somehow undamaged in the fight and can easily be mounted on the ship. I got 23 scrap and a whole smasher laser mark too. Wow, I'm getting really lucky with weapons lately. Uh, first off, let's go and repair the system. Shuglibus, it's gonna be he's gonna be my repair guy because he's been doing a lot of repair lately. And I'd like to get Drinian in there because he's he's just a pilot. Actually, I lose a lot of my evasion by doing that. So I'm going to keep him in there. Jigglebits is going to be my pilot. Or my repair guy. I'm going to use him to do that. Um, took a little damage there because there was a crack in the hull. So the, the oxygen in that room was depleted. But nothing to worry about. He's getting healed by my passive ability. Once this is repaired, I'll send him back to his area. And I'm going to check out this, this new weapon. I got a whole laser. Designed to, to maximize hull damage. Uh, requires 3 power. Oh, that's pretty high. Charge on 15 seconds. Shots per charge 3. Damage per shot 1. That's pretty nice. A little bit too much power. Something uh, nice to sell though. I think my um, what I have going on right now is going to be a good strategy with a pike beam plus ion, bl ion blaster. I'm going to stick with that. Since my shield recharge rate is so high I can take some damage. And, uh, and take them out before they do anything. Um, hope I can find a system soon. I'm going to pause it here. Please subscribe below. I'll see you in the next part. Part, part 12. Part, part 12. Yes, part 12. Fly safe, mates.